In a previous video, we worked with some data on mileage for cars and saved a prediction package which we named estimate MPG value. Let's start with that package in order to show you how simple it is to analyze data using prediction software. Let's build off the previous dataset called estimate and create a model for the classification of cars according to their fuel consumption. I will use a categorization based on a website from the U.S. Department of Energy which offers the official U.S. government source for fuel economy information. For 2014, excluding electrical vehicles, the most fuel efficient cars get between 36 and 50 miles per gallon, whereas the least efficient cars get 10 to 17. That's how I will define fuel efficiency as high and low respectively. Medium will include those that fall in between. To calculate the new column fuel efficiency, you first calculate an intermediate column. This process can be done in Excel or using Prediction Workbench. For this analysis, we will use the following columns as input. Cylinders, displacement, horsepower value, weight, acceleration, discretized model year, and origin. Let's hide all other columns. Go to the Insight Analytics tab and click on the task Classify from the section Build Models. After reading the introduction to the task, click Next. Our input will be a prediction package which is in My Workspace and is named AutoMPG. In prediction, you can use algorithms from various machine learning libraries. For this analysis, I am going to use Microsoft Analysis Services algorithms as well as R algorithms. Let's select several algorithms from both groups. In this case, I will use the default values for the parameters. If you want to, you could tweak the parameters and use different values. This enables me to compare the different models built using the analysis services and R algorithms according to seven different performance metrics. You can view the results in Excel and in a web browser. Let's use the area under the ROC curve to compare the models. The best model according to that metric is logistic regression from R with an area under the curve of 0.91. You will notice high values for other models also. Typically, you wouldn't see accuracy rates that high. 80% is actually an excellent accuracy rating. Now you can go to the web viewer and click influencers to see the key drivers for low fuel efficiency. Heavier, older, and higher acceleration cars tend to have lower fuel efficiency. Now you can go to the predictor visualization to see that for old, heavy cars with 8 cylinders, the prediction is low fuel efficiency. I need to look at lighter cars to see an improvement in fuel consumption. Another way to improve fuel efficiency is decreasing the number of cylinders to four. More recent cars with fewer cylinders are also more fuel efficient. Another important feature is how easy it is to deploy models within prediction. Deploying your models to the front lines where decisions are made is the key to realizing the true value of predictive analytics, as it enables your organization to improve the decision-making process and outcomes. We can now score a new set of cars contained in a new Excel spreadsheet named Other Cars. For that, we will use the logistic regression model from R. We want to predict the value for fuel efficiency based on what we know about each car. Included in the output will also be some of the inputs we know, like cylinders, horsepower, and weight, among other things. With this, we complete our brief presentation on running your first analysis using prediction. We have shown only a few of all of the possibilities. Now it's your turn to analyze your data with prediction. Please see the last video in the Getting Started series, which will show you how to share these results with your friends and colleagues. Thank you.